There are many undetected complications which people, especially in the villages, continue to endure as a result of lack of the equipment and high scan charges. In order to deal with the problem, a group of four radiographers have come up with a mobile scan which they say is cheap and easy to use. The team says they are able to make three quarters of the scan. With the gadgets, which is the probe and the laptop, can all fit in one laptop bag. The team is headed by Innocent Menu and explained how he came up with the idea. We came up with M-Scan during our community placements at medical school and that happened when we were posted in different parts of Uganda. I was posted in Gulu and we realized that mothers were dying and there were no machines to actually save them. So when we came back, we innovated and came up with M-Scan, a low-cost mobile ultrasound device. It has a prop which is used to scan the organs. The probe has piezoelectric crystals and the moment it is put on any part of the body it sends sound waves which interact with the body organ and the moment they interact with the body organ they bounce back in the form of an echo and then forming a real-time image by um, acoustic impedance principle. The USB cable of the Cavillinia scan probe is inserted in the laptop port before opening the interface of the M-Scan software. The probe will be recognized by the laptop in software, which opens an interface of the scan. When you connect the probe, ultrasound starts running on your device, which means you can apply the device anywhere in different areas. You can use it in emergency medicine, you can use it in obstetrics, that's the care for pregnancy, you can use it in urology. In order to see how it works, we get someone to help us act as a patient or any client in need of a scan. Menu applies an ultrasound gel to the body part supposed to be scanned. For this case, he's looking at the liver, the kidneys, and spring. What ultrasound gel does is it removes air bubbles between the skin surface of the patient and the probe. So that it, it brings about a constant communication between the signals from the probe and those of the software. In the process of scanning, the radiographer is able to measure the length and size of the organs. Most of the organs have a range within which we consider them to be normal. So by taking different measurements, we are able to know that the liver is normal, the kidneys are normal, the spleen is normal. In the event that the measurement is beyond what's documented in textbooks and in, in textbooks, then we consider this organ to be sick. It also has a linear prop which is used to check organs that are not hidden, like the thyroid of the neck. We are able to scan the thyroid gland. We are able to scan the breasts, true out for breast cancer in females. We are able to scan the testes in that regard and any other superficial structure not deep to the body. But how does the team plan to improve the idea? For example, we want to incorporate 3D in our scans so that you are able to see um, the different parameters of an organ. We are also right now working on color Doppler. Now what color Doppler helps us with is to see the blood vessels. We see them on real time. I asked Menyo the difference between his scan and the ordinary ones. The device is very portable. Uh, the M-Scan device is a tenth the price of a conventional machines out there in market. So that makes it very affordable. Menyo, who is the member of the Outbox Innovation Hub, told NTV that they have already done several successful projects. We've been in Kalangala Health Center for where we looked at over 60 pregnant mothers and the device was able to detect over 30 complications in pregnancy. A scan costs between 20 to $25,000, approximately over 70 million shillings. It also costs patients between 20 to 50,000 shillings to do a scan in a private clinic, while it costs 10,000 at a government-funded Mulago hospital. However, the M-Scan, which is portable and easy to use, costs 7 million shillings. This means government would buy 10 M-Scans instead of one. It is now up to the relevant authorities to adopt such cheap and reliable technology. Sudil Biaruhanga, NTV Innovation Nation.